No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach and I have literally just gotten back from a physical meeting which uh, for me is kind of strange, you know, all of the meetings nowadays are on Zoom or uh, you know, we used to have them a lot on Skype as well, but nowadays Zoom is just like the most common way of doing meetings, especially with the corona, um, but also just because, you know, we are a social media agency, we do everything online, we work with overseas clients, so it's just common that all of our meetings are through Zoom. Um, and we got in contact with a client that is based in the Netherlands, where I'm currently based as well, and um, basically they came through us, uh, came to us through a referral, which is actually quite a funny story, which I'll get into in just a second. Um, and you know, they mentioned that they want to meet up with me. They want to discuss the potential of you know working together, and I'm me working um, alongside them basically to build up their their project that they're working on. And um, I just you know assumed that it was going to be on Zoom, so I I, I said um, so we agreed upon a time and etc. And um, they said, you know, I said, I'll send over the Zoom link. And they said, no, 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 we don't do Zoom. We, we don't like Zoom. And immediately I thought, oh, it's it's one of them clients, right? It's it's not the type of client that I want to work with, to be fair. You know, I like clients that just want everything, um, you know, as streamlined as possible. And usually when clients want physical meetings, it doesn't really amount to much. Or it's one of them where, you know, the clients want physical strategy sessions and stuff like that. So immediately I just thought, okay, it's it's not gonna be one of them clients. It's uh, you know, it's it's just not gonna be a right fit. And um, you know, even on the so we, we agreed upon a place we met up um at a basically a, like a business hotel um that is in the same you know, in my city, which is good, so it's, it wasn't too far for me, but still it's it's uh, annoying that I had to sort of leave my own house. But anyway, um, on the morning check-in as well with my team, you know, we were having a bit of a laugh about it, saying uh, you know, physical meeting and etc. But um yeah, so I Got to the meeting, um, met up with uh, basically the, the two owners of this company. Um, it's it's um, basically what they are doing is they have a partnership with a very very large uh, manufacturer in uh, Germany. It's a um, basically a nutritional product. Can't give away too much um, due to just like the circumstances that they're in, and they basically want to bring it out for a it's a B two C line that they want to bring out in the Netherlands first and then they want to slowly basically expand to Europe and they've already gotten someone for Google Ads, they've already gotten someone for SEO and now they're basically looking for a media buyer for Facebook and a media buying agency preferably so that um, all they need to do is just work with one um, contact person and you know that person is then me and then I, I can basically scale out the team if and when needed um, you know, to take on their project because it will um, expand pretty quickly because of the size of um, just their overall network and their business plans. But anyway, uh, we got to, you know, to speak, we got talking, we were speaking about everything. And I just had to ask, I just said, you know, why do we not meet up on Zoom? I said, it's not, no offense, you know, there's not nothing wrong with meeting up, especially because this is in my city. So it's not, um, it was no extra bother for me, but just out of curiosity, what's the, the negativity around Zoom? And uh, one of the owners basically said, you know, we like to do our prospecting uh, face to face. And um, basically the way we work is only through referrals, which I thought was quite interesting. So what they do, if they want to find someone to work for their business, they um, don't put out a job post or anything like that. Um, and people can't. So if anyone cold calls them or sends a outreach, you know, email or message or anything like that, they automatically get rejected and they only basically scout the people that they want in their team. And in this case, you know, I got a referral uh, from a mutual acquaintance, let me put it that way. And uh, that way, you know, that is how they sort of came in contact with me. And I, at the start, I basically started introducing myself. You know, I mentioned my YouTube channel, my personal brand, etc. And they were like, yeah, we know, we know, we've done our own work. We know exactly who you are and what you stand for and what results you've gotten for, you know, clients in the past, etc. Which, um, it was a bit weird, not not in a bad way. It was like, you know, usually I'm, you know, uh, especially at a physical meeting, I was sort of thrown off a bit. And I, you know, when they basically said, okay, so tell me a bit about um, your situation, I just 
starts at the start and starts introducing myself and they said no you know we know all this um so that was a bit uh, it did sort of catch me off guard but anyway you know the like i said the meeting went well but what i want to basically discuss is the the pros and cons right of offline versus online meetings and the good thing about online meetings is that it doesn't matter where you are in the world you can attend the meeting so if you have a potential client in the united states and you are in this case europe or you know you're in the uk or vice versa you know you're in the united states and you've got a client in germany you know you can still speak to them you can just agree upon a time that works best in both time zones and you can just have the meeting as if you're physically in the room with them and a lot of the deals nowadays get done through zoom as well you know it's it's no longer strange to have a virtual meeting um but with that said one of the pros of having a physical meeting is that there's that aspect of uh, of trust and basically what they also mentioned um on this meeting today is that the reason why they um prefer to actually have physical meetings is because of the chit chat before and after the the whole you know the, the official meeting they said during the chit chat before and after the meetings they can get a glimpse of who this person actually is and they hire on personality um you know character traits and just the overall bond that they can create with that person which i thought was really powerful and i've never actually looked at it at that way you know in that way usually when i go into meetings i'm very to the point um i sort of take over the structure of the call immediately because i want it to be over as quick as possible right i'm not one for chit chat um you know naturally i'm quite an introverted person and especially when i'm on calls um, I schedule my 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 day out, you know, to a T. So I know, okay, we've got 20 minutes for this call. Um, this is what I want to discuss. This is the information that I need from this client in order to make a decision if I want to work together with this client or not. And they actually do the opposite. They take their time on their meetings because they value that chit chat before and after the call because that gives them more of an idea of okay, who is this guy and what does he stand for and can we actually be on the same wavelength. So, you know, um, I could have had like the best pitch in the world um, during that, you know, that meeting and be, you know, be a complete different person before and after that meeting um, and just not be on the same wavelength at all, you know, as as these people. And that could have actually lost me the deal, uh, so to speak. So that was something that I thought was really interesting. And of course, you know, that is something that we don't really have right on Zoom and on Skype, etc. You don't have that like cup of coffee moments which with you know um, what you do have when you have a physical meeting which again can also be seen as a bad thing you know with zoom and with skype etc we're very to the point um which i prefer but you know seeing their insight now and sort of their perspective on things it has sort of changed my mind and i do still see the value in you know physical offline meetings um but you know like i said there is a, a time and place for the chit chat and it depends on you know how much value you attach to the chit chat before and after the meetings. Um, I know that, for example, um, my dad, you know, in his industry, which is the recruitment industry, um, they are slowly making that transition from um, physical meetings to, you know, Zoom meetings and online meetings. And the reason for that is just because of convenience. Um, usually, you know, the way they worked is that if, for example, there is a project starting in Denmark, um, like, for example, there's a big data center getting built, um, then they would all physically meet up around that data center and basically, you know, um, make decisions based on who's there physically at the time, etc. And a lot of deals also get done, you know, over a couple of drinks, etc. Um, and now they are slowly are making you know, transition to Zoom, but still, you know, the the majority of the deals of you know the like the larger magnitude will get done. I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my youtube channel so basically what i've done is i have created a custom audience with google ads uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where i basically give you the direct link to download this course so it's an unpublished link on teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel so if you want a free social media marketing course all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements so without further ado let's hop back into the video physically and you know through actually physically meeting up face to face and seeing that person being able to look that person in the eye without you know having like the camera screen in between it right so um yeah like i said there's there's, there's pros and cons to both aspects of um you know the, the meetings and in terms of how i would probably do that moving forward or what i would advise you guys to do is if you have a a meeting that 
is less than let's say 20 minutes away so you know in the next city the next town or the same town but just you know a bus ride away it's five minutes by car etc and it's the very first meeting to get to know that person i would um, definitely go to that meeting physically if it's possible so if it's convenient if it makes sense then physically go there to introduce yourself because by doing that you will stand out from the rest like i said it's becoming the norm now right to have all of our meetings through zoom and skype within the social media marketing space and by going the extra mile and basically say let's physically meet up or i can be you know at your place there and there at such and such a time you will stand out and you'll basically have that first that a good first impression right you know you'll um basically they will remember you more than you know the, the zoom in they had with a random media buyer from you know a different place with that said if you've already made that first impression with your clients, if you've already, um, let's say you've already had the first meeting, etc., and there's just some kind of follow-up meeting or a strategy session um, in between the meetings or in between the close, then I would just say, listen, let's do it on Zoom. I'm a busy guy, you know, um, I'm sure you are as well. I value your time. I expect you to value mine as well. Let's just have this meeting on Zoom. We can smash it out. You know, I can give you my undivided attention for, you know, one hour or whatever you want to do. Um, and then from there, you know, I do actually need to get back to work. And the business owner will respect you for that. But because you've already got that initial physical meeting in, the client then has the best of both worlds, right? So you've got the the ease and, you know, the um, basically the efficiency of Zoom. But you've also had that physical meeting at the start to actually get to know that um, that business person. And at the end of the day, you know, we are all about building relationships and it's now no longer about getting the clients as soon as possible and outsourcing it. You know, now we're all about building relationships, building up long-term relationships and keeping that back door of our agency short, meaning that as soon as a client comes in, we want them to, to basically, you know, hit a hit a wall in terms of wanting to leave. So um, if we don't we don't let them leave basically because we're getting such good results for them, they actually want to stay and they actually want to stay basically, you know, in our sort of agency uh, you know ecosystem. So that's the way we see it, that's the way or that's the way I see it, basically that's the way um you know like i said i've sort of changed my perspective on the physical meeting just by listening to how these guys approached it this morning um and i just wanted to basically you know give you my two cents on that and uh, share my experience as well with you know with you guys on this channel but hope you got something out of this leave a comment down below if you ever have physical meetings and what you think the pros and cons are of having physical meetings you know in the comments down below i'll be sure to comment on those as well but for now i'm going to wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching like share comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video